Chris, I have a mansion and I need a forklift to move my fish tank, Jericho. Um, he's on the list, and there's some people online. Well, what are, what did the, the, his match get against uh, Omega? What did uh, Meltzer get? I think it was like four and a quarter, or something like that. Are you serious? I heard people said it sucked. Well, let me say this week. I usually will put Chris over, but you can italicize, underline, put it in neon lights. He deserves to be on the list because he actually put on Twitter that he was going for the St. Louis Blues. Oh. Yes. Well, did you see uh, either of you guys on Twitter? Uh, and I will read this tweet to you uh, from at I am Jericho. In protest of Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, and the Young Bucks' foolish decision to give the fire, uh, Fighter Fest live stream away for AEW wrestling fans for free, I am pulling out of the event. I refuse to be associated with such shameless pandering. Followed that up, uh, a tweet from Fozzie. Regrettably, after much careful and difficult consideration, we want to let you know that Fozzie will not be performing at AEW Fighter Fest. Due to the incompetence of the stupid promoters, we're not confident that we would have what we need to give you fans a quality performance. So both Jericho and Fozzie have pulled out of AEW's Fire Fest as of today. I don't that understand work that. Or what? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think it's a continuation of the same thing he did uh, for a StarCast after Double or Nothing where he last minute... No showed his uh, live, well, anything live Jericho podcast. Does his work, but then Fozzie. <laughs> well, did, but then he, this is the process. Stupid work too. Okay, I, I'm going to call him out on this. Oh man, not, I don't want to k k fabe whatever. But like, if he's pulling out, and and they're the, uh, they're based in realism, the, the the organization, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, is, well, is he getting fired or anything? Uh, I haven't he, seen he, anything he like that from from the company or something. Or he could just pull out of these events like 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 randomly. You know, to get he was like, or is the company going to make a statement on on why on on how he can just do? Okay, th- think about this. Dana White promotes Tony Ferguson and uh, and Khabib. Okay, and then then he says, okay, but we're going to put we're going to put this on Twitch. And Khabib and something, but Khabib says, no, I'm I'm not going to fight. I'm I'm pulling out of the event because that's a bad decision. What did what did what would the UFC do? All right, we got to get a replacement now. Yeah. Or would they be like, oh, "Well, you're suspended for a year, a bit." It's like, "Yo, we're fine." Well, what are they going to do? Well, what are you going to do to Jericho? He's going to be wrestling for the championship at the pay per view. He's the number one contender. So, I guess how he is kinda, he the number he, one contender? He can, he can do it. He beat, who went over? Who went over and double nothing? Did Kenny Omega over? Or did he go over? Jericho won. He beat Kenny Omega. Yeah. Well, then he's a champion. The champion's nah. going to just basically cancel out of the event. He has to wrestle Adam Page, and the winner of that match is the AEW champion. And that's for all out. Oh, so the winner of the Battle Royal faced the winner of Omega Jericho, and that's yeah, for the belt. That's right. right. I would have, I would, I would have had Omega wrestle the kid with the no, the no legs, and had put the no legs kid over if I was with the Booker. For yeah, but that's yeah. smart because what's happening is probably Jericho either didn't want to be on that show or maybe was tied up with something else, and 